Okay. Since we're going to be trying out some new things on planetary surfaces like the Moon and Mars, we really need to be open to the idea that there will be lots of new kinds of vehicles. Vehicles have been around for a while. Humans have been figuring out how to move around this planet for thousands of years. Uh, from the invention of the wheel forward, we keep coming up with new ways to move people and payloads around this planet's surface, uh, but we're not done. We keep inventing new and even more capable machines, and NASA is going to be a part of that tradition, part of that history. The challenges that we see on the Moon and Mars are so great that it's forcing us to think about new kinds of mobile machines. Uh, so the rover of the future might not be just a golf cart. It might be something a little more exotic, a little more capable, or maybe a lot more capable. We built a number of machines that you just won't find driving around town. We built something like an athlete. It's a six-legged machine that, in addition to its six legs, has wheels at the paw of each six. It can roll or walk. When it gets into loose stuff, it might transition out of rolling into a walking gait to get back into hard packed soil. No more getting rovers stuck in soft soil. These machines will be able to get up and get out of a sticky situation. We've also looked at 12-wheel drive lunar rovers. Uh, maybe those will be the machines in the future on Mars as well. A 12-wheel system, it can really tolerate a couple tires going down. In fact, the ones we've been testing in uh, the Arizona desert are able to drive pretty well on as few as uh, eight or nine of its tires. So if you, po if you pop a tire, if you damage one, the crew don't have to get out and immediately repair it like you would with a four-wheel drive vehicle. These machines are really robust, able to tolerate a lot of uh, difficult terrain and get the crew safely back to their ascent module or their habitat, which is really the key for these machines. Uh, whenever the crew depart away from their ascent module, that's when they're at risk. But of course, that's when they're doing the most interesting things, out exploring in the nooks and crannies of some planetary surface that's got all sorts of things to teach us. They need to be able to get back, and so they're going to count on these machines to get them there. Uh, we've built all sorts of other robotic rovers that don't carry people. Uh, our uh, kind of taxonomy of rovers and, and mobile systems include wheeled vehicles, legged vehicles, things that hop, things that burrow, and maybe things that fly are in our future as well on other planetary surfaces. Uh, we're open to all of these ideas, we're exploring them, and as a result, NASA is going to be a part of helping humans move around this planet's surface and inventing some new machines that maybe someday you will see driving around town.